Hi everyone, Cheryl here today with Kadoodlebug Designs and we are going to be working on this darling little Oh Ginger Snaps girl. I did in my last video the boy and so if you want to see this one done with doing the icing and, and all, you can see that in my last video. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to work on her tree and she doesn't have any icing in her hair or anything. So she's a little, a little simpler. So I did prep some of the pieces and... On this one here, we're going to do the little stitching on the outside. If you notice on this one here, I did the stitching and this one here I did not. And also in this video, we're only going to use one ink. It's going to be the vintage photo and one pen. So it's E37 and it's a sepia. So I've prepped all those pieces. Uh, the tree we do not need to do anything to. So we'll put that aside. And then these are the pieces that I left. So with these pieces here, let me see if I can zoom in. And hopefully I remember to zoom back out, sorry. Okay, so I'm just gonna ink up my dauber. And for this one, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna work on the outside and kind of come in a little bit, going kind of up and down. You can do a little circular. Kind of circular on the bottom and then up the other side so i did do the pin first on this one now if you feel that it needs to have a darker you know outline you could come back in and do that and then all i'm doing is adding some real short lines this is the Posca paint pen. Uh, I think in my last video, I did talk about this one too. I don't have any links for it. I bought them off of eBay. You can get a pack of two. And to be honest, I don't even remember what the cost was on that. I bought them so long ago. So on this one here, on the face, we're doing the same thing. We're gonna use the vintage photo. We can go ahead and come in with our outline. You could do either side of this pin. And, whoops. And then just come in. So when I get to this part right here, you could kind of go circular once you get to the sides, or you could come and do like um, just following the outline on that. And so I've had a lot of people asking me about the chalks that I use. And I think that's probably good for his face. So I'm gonna show you, they're, they're super old. I, I bought these, I think, back in 2005. They're EK Success. So it's a wheel and there's different colors. And let's see, and there's the other one. You could tell I've used a lot of the brown in the past. Okay, so we've got this one done. So also, in the last video, I also used the red chalk, or red chalk, the red ink, and I will use red chalk as well. This, I did not bring an ink pad out. I'm just using what's left on the pad. And this is to, to start the cheeks for her. And hers are a little darker, but if you could see that, hopefully. And then on her body, I just did a little daub could do on the bottom I mean if you want to add a little bit to your little feet or the little yeah the little feet you could the nose I'm just gonna do a little bit at the top okay so that's pretty much it I did not run that back through the ink pad it was already ready so on her uh, face 
we're gonna go ahead and get our lines. Since this is a paint pen, it does take just a few to dry. So it is like right now, if I touched it, it would smear. But I do prefer this paint pen over the gel pens. If you want a pen that's gonna last you, these are the way to go. Okay, so the face is ready. And then this is her little hand. So I just take the dauber with the vintage photo and kind of just run it across the bottom and then kind of do just the top. And since we already had pin on that one, and then I left a couple just to kind of show you the pin. So working on the glass helps because I could, if you don't want a lot of it on top, you could just take it like you're doing it on against the side and it will be on the glass. Okay. And then we'll do some more of the ink. And then we're ready to start putting this together. The fun part, well, all of it's fun. Okay. Again, if you want the edges darker, you could always come in with your pin again or a darker pin if you'd like. And I thought the little stitching would be different and cute, so I figured I'll do a video just showing that. And then a sneak peek at what the next little cutie's gonna be, because I've already got that one cut out. Okay, so we've got all our pieces ready to go. Let me spray my hands really quick. I just use, I put alcohol, rubbing alcohol in just a spray bottle. If you're not by a bathroom or you don't wanna, you know, like especially doing videos, I don't wanna have to get up and go wash my hands. And so I'm just trying to get off most of the ink. <laughs> okay, so the glue I'm using is Art Glitter Glue. You could choose any glue that you like, what works best for you. I'm using, like I show in all my videos, I've been trying to, is that biker pen. These you can get on Amazon. They're a set of two, and you get the little uh, things to go on the ends and a little tweezer. Those are, I think, are $8.99. Okay, so that way I could cover that. And I see I forgot one. So we're just going to add those. You only see some of the lines because her icing, whoops, we'll come over that. Okay, so I've got all those ready. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put her little icing hair on. So we know this is where the hair is because the bow's right there, whoops. And I'm hoping that's the right one. I can't see, let's see. It must be right here. If it's not, I could always move it. Yep, so that one's the right one. So we'll just press that down. And then we can get this one on. Okay. So we've got those on. So the first thing is to put those on, we need her arms and her legs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do her arms. And then her legs. So the arms are kind of. So there's one. Let's grab the other one. Okay. And we'll get her legs 
and I think I just flipped a piece. So we're going to just add the legs on. And I forgot the other one's right there. <laughs> go so there's her little legs whoops so her legs are on so now we can go ahead and add her body of course her body with blue on it is going to probably be a little heavy to be picking up with cute okay and now i'm going to go ahead and add these her little feet So, and the other one, and we do need that icing on. So we're not doing anything with this icing. So I have the icing all set aside. I'm not adding any Viva Pearl pin to this, so. It's just gonna be, and I didn't distress them or anything. Just pretty simple. Oops. And if you need to add a little glue under there. Okay, try not to get the glue on the wipe. All right, so the next thing we want to add is her face, and we know our cheeks are at the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, add this, and I'm being a little careless. Okay. Oh, and her ear moved, or her ear. <laughs> Ah! Oh, I don't like when I do that. So I must have moved it somehow. So I have to add that back on because that will bother me. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I'm going to have a mess. Okay, let's see if I can move that around okay uh, yeah I'm gonna have a little mess but ah uh, sorry guys that is gonna bug me because now I have and hopefully the bow will cover that up and I'm gonna go ahead and add those bows right now so on the bow I just added some of the white dots. Oh, her hair. Boy, see what happens. I get all confused. Ah! One little... Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that kind of... Okay. So now we can add the bow. I'm just hopeful that the bow, wherever the bow went now, ah, there it is. I'm just hoping this bow's gonna cover up. My little mistake that I did. Okay. So on this one, we'll just add some of the white dots. And hopefully I'm in view. Okay. 
and put some glue on the back. Yeah, the especially when you get ink on this white, it's I'll have to try to clean that up later. Alrighty. So we've got pretty much all that. So now I want to do her eyes and her face. So I'm going to go ahead and do my little glue for where I think the eyes are going to go. Thinking. Whoops. I'm making messes today, aren't I? All right. Let's hopefully that will dry. And then I'm going to add her little nose, which we have ready. Let's see. And I want to add a little bit of red or pink. Let's see if we do a little. I think it needs red. So I want a little right there. You could always add more. And then just blow that off. So we want to add to her cheeks. I'm adding the bright pink. And then you can kind of blow that off. If you want to come in with the red. Okay. So there's that. And add some little dots. And of course, and then we need the dots on our eyes. And so for the eyelashes, I'm going to use 005. For my liner, I think I could use, I think I'm going to hold up. That's a 08. I think that's a little thick. I'm going to go with the 03. I just try to be careful that it's dry because when these fine pins hit the glue, they'll drop they they end up ruining them so for her eyelashes i'm just doing like one two three four five so one two three four five and then you could do a little chalk if you want to do a little bit of the black chalk to kind of blend it in the eyes are so small that I just add I use the very tip of this brush right here just to kind of blend that and so her eyes are done so now we can go ahead and add our uh tree oh her mouth let's get her mouth oh and I must have lost the little red piece it's probably in the tray, darn it. Let me see if I can grab that because oh, their mouth goes that way. Oops. There we go. So we're going to move that to a dot. Okay, and it could kind of come over. Let me see. Oh, I found it. So a sneak peek of what we're going to be doing next. I believe he's called, or she's called Santa's Little Helpers. And she is one that I'll do a video on. I'm hoping if I can't get it done, it'll most likely be after Thanksgiving. But I thought that one would be fun. I love working on the Christmas ones especially right now if you're making 
tags or little gift bags or the gable boxes. These are so perfect for that. So let's go ahead and put together the little rolling pin. This is cute. So I did go ahead and add the little dots to this. And you're just gluing it right on to this. And then we'll add a little white line to the, the edge or the handle. And then we can go ahead and glue this one down. Okay, and then let's go ahead and get her hand on. And okay, and then we have the little heart, and that may be a little much glue, a little too much. Okay, there we go. So we have that done. So now we can get our tree put together. The tree, I didn't distress it at all. So I'm just gonna glue it. And I did add some of the outlining using the marker. And I just kind of run that along the edge. So just like so. And we're gonna go ahead and glue this on. And we're almost done. We're just gonna put the little embellish uh, embellishments <laughs> if i can talk so we're just going to add our embellishments next and we're done so let's go ahead and put her other hand up here and then the icing we just need to add the icing and we have an icing here and Oops, so so we have one there, and let's add that one there. Okay, so we've got those. So, oh, I did, I did get those. So I'm using the Robin's Nest Dew Drops for the little dew drops on her, <clears throat> for her little buttons. Are her little candies we're gonna put one there one there so we'll get the green and then the red so i do put down these because when you're using the dew drops you'll get to see a little bit of that color come through instead of the brown so i'm doing the red and then the, the green ah we got the green right there okay so for all the little embellishments, I am using my Maker's Movement Shaker Sprinkles. So I did use the holly, the tinsel. So there's snowflakes and then candy canes in here. And then the pinwheels are in this one. And I've got those all picked out. So we're going to put pinwheels on her bows. And then we're going to be done pretty quick here. So let's put the pinwheels there. And then I want to add some candy canes. And so I just do a little line there, one there, there, and one there. And then we can just add our candy canes. And. And one more. Whoops. And then we'll have some snowflakes and some tinsel. So the snowflakes, I'm just adding one to the top and then to each of the sides. You could do one in the middle if you want. So super simple. If you don't have these little sprinkles, you could pick some little things in your stash, whether they're little buttons or whatever else you have. But I thought, you know, I have so many of these sprinkles that why not use them on some of the SVG files when I'm putting them together. I think it just gives them a nice little added uh, embellishment. So we can add some of the little 
what are those called? The little tinsels. Oops. And I have to make sure I have enough glue on the for these because they will fall off if they're not stuck down good in the glue. So I tried to put enough. If not, I'll come back in. But we can add one there. And then, oops, a reds, some gold, and maybe another gold. And I think I've added everything. And so I do hope you enjoyed my video today on doing the O Ginger Snaps. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please do follow. And I want to thank you for stopping by and have a good day.